So I found this channel, which is fairly new. So I will leave links in the description box. You all need to go over and sub to this channel. This is her very first YouTube video. So bravo to her for coming out and joining the community. This is pretty amazing stuff. I would love to get my hands on this. So watch this clip. Okay, people, my name is Dana. This is my very first YouTube video ever. Um, I've got something here that I don't quite understand, and I'm hoping maybe someone out there can explain it to me. I've been doing a lot of research on um, the flat earth and the firmament, uh, things like that. This is um, a set of encyclopedias I have. Um, they're Encyclopedia Americana. Um, this is volume two. It's the A's. What we're going to do is look at what it says about Antarctica. Um, these, just remember, this uh, this is a 1958 edition. Okay, this was before the Antarctic Treaty was signed. Um, this was before the supposed Apollo missions. Um, I want to show you something that it says in here about Antarctica. It basically talks about um, all the exploration. It says here, Antarctic region, regions, excuse me, um, all the exploration. Um, has a few few photos, not too many. This is um, the map created back then. I've read all of this. This is the part here that I have the question about. I am trying my best to get some light on here really good. Um, like I said, this is my first video. Don't criticize me too much. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's see. Okay, I hope you can see this. They did flights, and it says, These flights prove the inland areas to be featureless in character with a dome 13,000 feet high at about latitude 80 degrees south, longitude 90 degrees east. Okay, I have no idea what that means. There seems to be only one definition for the word dome. Um, anyway, if uh, anybody has any idea what this means, can explain this to me, I would appreciate it. Okay, thanks. Flag of the United Nations, which looks to be the flag that projects a flat plane with a dome. And if you look here, I don't see Antarctica really projected. And my theory is, this is just my theory now, that Antarctica is actually all the way around the area here. The flag of the United Nations was adopted December 7, 1946 and consists of the official emblem of the United Nations in white on a blue background. Okay, the design is described as a map of the world representing a zimuthal equisitant projection centered on the North Pole, inscribed in a wreath consisting of crossed conventionalized branches of the olive tree. The projection of the map extends to 60 degrees south latitude and includes five concentric circles. The olive branches are a symbol for peace. And when they say peace and security, beware, right? And the world map represents all the people in the countries of the world. White and blue are the official colors of the United Nations. Now, what I thought was really interesting is down here, it says the blue that appears in the background of the insignia was chosen to be, quote, the opposite of the red, the war color. Although the exact shade was never or has never been officially specified by the United Nations. The original color the group chose in 1945 was a gray-blue that differs from the current United Nations flag. The globe used in the original design was an azimuthal projection. And check this out, okay? These have the property that 
Directions from a central point are preserved and therefore great circles through the central point are represented by straight lines on a map. These projections have also have re radial symmetry in the scales and hence in the distortions. Map distances from central point are computed by a function of the true distance independent of the angle correspondingly circles with the central point as center are mapped into circles which have as center the central point on the map. Now look at this right here. You've got like the United Nations map which I think is a great depiction of what the earth really looks like. You've got the flat plane with the dome. Okay? So I just wanted to point this out. This is the projection for the United Nations map. And then this is the projection plane right here. What does that tell you? I will leave links to her channel in the description box. Please come over here to Salvation Ministries and subscribe. Show her some love, you all. And just say thank you for you know, putting yourself out there. We need more people like this to come forward and show their truths. And I would love to get a copy of that U.S. Encyclopedia. I believe she said it was dated 1958. So check it out. Much love, you guys. Have a good day.